Jina langu ninaitwa Rose Sarwat, ni mwanzilishi wa na mkurugenzi wa Tanzania Widows Association Tawia. Lakini tulivoanza umoja wetu wa wajane kwa hapa Tanzania, tulifanikiwa kutembea katika nchi za jirani. Uh, tumetoka Tanzania tukaenda Zanzibar tukaanzisha taasisi ya mambo ya wajane lakini baada ya hapo tumefika nchi mbalimbali kama mwenzangu alivyotangulia kusema nchi za Afrika baadhi uh, na hatimaye tukafanikiwa kuwa na umoja wa wajane Afrika ambapo pembeni yangu ndo mwenyekiti wa umoja huo ambaye tunamuita rais lakini mimi ni katibu wa umoja huo wa wajane wa Afrika uh, tulikubaliana kwamba katika kuanzisha huu umoja wa Afrika tuchukue nchi mbili mbili kutoka katika bara la Afrika kwa maana ya kwamba tuna tuna Afrika Mashariki, tuna Afrika Magharibi, tuna Afrika ya Kati, Afrika ya Kusini na lengo letu haswa ni kwenye hizo ukisema Afrika ya Mashariki ni hapa kwetu, nchi mbili na maana Tanzania na Kenya. Tukisema West Africa ni alikotoka kiongozi wetu mkuu, kwa hiyo tuliungana kwa, kwa jinsi hiyo na tuna uongozi na, na tumesajili umoja wa jani Afrika. A uh, moja wapo malengo yetu ilikuwa ni kuwaunganisha wajane kuwa kitu kimoja katika nchi za Afrika kwa maana ya kwamba tuligundua kwamba changa tumefanya mikutano miwili na katika ile mikutano miwili ambayo ilihusisha wajane kutoka nchi za Afrika nchi mbalimbali za Afrika kama alivyotaja mwenzangu Kenya, Malawi, Zambia na na Afrika Kusini lengo letu ilikuwa ni kuangalia changamoto zinazomzunguka wajane tukagundua kwamba changamoto zinafanana kutoka nchi baada ya nchi tukasema hebu sasa badala ya Tanzania kupaza sauti peke yake Zanzibar peke yake Kenya peke yake Malawi peke yake tuungane tuwe na umoja wetu ili tuweze kupaza sauti za pamoja ili sauti za wajane ziweze kusikika Afrika na hatimaye hatua stake ziweze kuchukuliwa katika baraza la umoja wa mataifa baraza la la, la umoja wa nchi za Afrika na hatimaye tuende mbele zaidi kwa hiyo tulikubaliana katika mambo ambayo tuweza kufanya ni kuwa na hiyo summit Hiyo summit ni kwa maana ya kwamba itaweza kujumlisha wajane katika kutoka nchi ya msini na nne ambazo tumesha zifikia. Lengo la wajane kuja, sio waje peke yao ni wawakilishi, lakini maraisi ambao watawanatoka katika hizo nchi ambazo wajane watashiriki, pamoja na mawaziri wao, na watunga sera kwa ujumla. Lakini wakuzikiwemo NGO na wadau mbalimbali wa masuala ya, ya, ya jinsia. Lengo letu ni kwamba tutapaza sauti ya pamoja. Na mkutano huu ulitupa heshima Tanzania, kwa kama kama mwanzilishi wa umoja huo kwa maana ya kwamba tukapewa heshima sisi ambao tuko Afrika ya Mashariki na sisi tukaona kwamba ni fursa kuipeleka Zanzibar kwa maana ya kwamba Zanzibar pale tutapata mambo mawili kwa wakati mmoja kwa maana watu watakuja kwa ajili ya hiyo summit lakini pia pamoja na utalii. Kwa lengo haswa la mkutano huo ni kuwaunganisha wajane wa bara la Afrika pamoja. Ndio maana unaitwa mkutano ndio unaitwa the African Widows Summit kwa maana ni mkutano ambao ni wa wajane wa Afrika. Na lengo ni kwamba waweze kuungana na kuwa na sauti moja. Tutakapotawanyika pale hizo hayo matamko tutakayopata kwenye summit lengo letu ni kwamba yaweze kwenda kutekelezwa katika nchi zao zile nchi ambazo zitawakilishwa katika huo mkutano. Aa, kwa hiyo nafikiri ndugu waandishi wa habari mtatusaidia kutoa taarifa hizi kwa upana wake ili nchi mbalimbali mbali, waweze kusikia hizi taarifa na watu waweze kuanza kujiandikisha maana mkutano hauko mbali ni mwakani tu mwezi wa sita tunategemea kupata ugeni wa jana mkubwa sana na ugeni wa viongozi kutoka katika nchi zao. Asante sana waandishi wa habari kwa kutuheshimu na kuja asubuhi ya leo. Um, sisi ni kamati ya maandalizi ya mkutano wa wajane wa bara la Afrika unaokusudia kufanyika tarehe 20 mpaka 22 mwezi wa sita mwaka 2024 na, 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 na tunayo bahati utafanyika hapa kwetu Tanzania Zanzibar. Kwa heshima hiyo basi Ninaomba tu kutoa maelezo ya kwamba katika bara la Afrika kuna umoja wa wajane the union of the African Widows Union na huu umoja una uongozi wao Tunashukuru sana katika huu umoja wa wajane Afrika kulikuja na project au mradi wa kuandaa mkutano mkubwa unaoitwa the African Widows Summit 2024 Ungeweza kufanyika kokote kule barani Afrika lakini imekuwa ni bahati umeangukia katika nchi ya Tanzania na utafanyika visiwani Zanzibar. Rais wa, wa rais wa serikali ya mapinduzi Zanzibar ameridhia na amekubali kuwa mgeni rasmi katika mkutano huo. Kwa hiyo tunachokibali kamili na summit hii itaandaliwa kwa kushirikiana na serikali.
sasa wakina nani watakuja kwenye hii summit ni makundi tofauti tofauti yanayojishughulisha yanayo na mambo yanayowahusu wajane kwa miongoni mwao watakuwemo wajane wenyewe watakuwepo viongozi wa serikali mbalimbali kutoka barani Afrika kwa sababu watakaoguswa ni nchi zote hamsina nne ni nchi hamsina nne kutoka barani Afrika kwa hiyo tunaweza tukapata mawaziri wanaojihusisha na mambo ya wanawake na wajane tutapata viongozi wakuu wenyewe wengine tunaweza tukapata wake za maraisi na kwa sababu atakaye rasmisha mkutano huu ni rais wa serikali ya mapinduzi Zanzibar ina maana hatutashangaa na tunatamani na tunakusudia kuwa hata na marais kutoka nchi zingine za Afrika. Kwa hiyo waandishi wa habari tunawashukuru mtakuwa nyinyi ni sehemu muhimu sana ya kufanya hii summit iweze kufanikiwa. Sisi ni kamati ya maandalizi kwa hiyo kwa sababu sio summit inayoandaliwa na mtu mmoja inaandaliwa na watu tofauti tofauti. Nimeshasema hapa kwa ushirikiano tukishirikiana na serikali basi ni moja kwa moja bila kupoteza muda ningeomba dada Dr. Monica Magoke Mhoja ambaye katika kamati ya maandalizi ile kamati kuu inayoandaa huu mkutano yeye ni mwenyekiti wa maudhui kwa ni kwa naomba yeye aelezee lengo la mkutano wetu pamoja na matokeo Sante. Afu Dr. Monica Magoke Mhoja, kitaaluma mimi ni wakili msomi na ninafanya kazi katika shirika la Landesa kama Outreach Director Africa lakini kwenye uh, summit hii Uh, shirika la Wildaf ambalo mimi ni mwenyekiti ni kati ya kamati ya maandalizi. Kwa hiyo mimi nawakilisha uh, Wildaf katika ile kamati maalum ya, ya maandalizi. Na katika maandalizi haya ya huu kutano wa kwanza Afrika uh, wa wajane wa Afrika kwa umoja wao, mkutano huu wa kwanza unaofanyika hiyo tarehe 20 mpaka 22 m- mwezi wa sita mwaka 2024 ni wa kihistoria na mimi ni mwenyekiti wa kamati ya maudhui ni mambo gani basi ambayo tunakwenda kuyaangalia kuyachambua kuyajadili kwanza umuhimu kabisa kuna mikutano mingi sana ya kikanda na ya kidunia ambayo imefanyika lakini kwa mara ya kwanza tunakuwa na mkutano ambao unafanyika wa wajane barani Afrika kwa hiyo kwa Tanzania na, na Zanzibar tunatengeneza historia. Na tunakwenda kuangalia mambo gani. Tutakuwa na kuangalia masuala matatu muhimu. Kwanza tutaangalia kujengewa uchumi wa jani, nguvu ya kiuchumi wa jani. Wajani ni kati ya kundi ambalo kwa wanawake Afrika na duniani wame we kwa chini sana. Mimi binafsi sio mjane, lakini toka katika ujana wangu na kwa nini hata nimepata hii nafasi, nimekuwa nikijishughulika shughulisha sana na masuala ya, ma, ya wajane. Nimefanya tafiti mbalimbali mbali katika uh, digri yangu ya uzamifu na uzamili zote niziangalia kuhusu masuala ya wajane. Kwa hiyo nina upeo na nafasi kwa kiwango fulani katika kuelewa masuala ya wajana hususan Tanzania na katika makabila ya Wakuria, Wasukuma na Wamasai ndio ma, ma, maeneo ambayo nilibobea. Kwa hiyo tutaangalia je hao wajane ambao wananyimwa haki zao, ambao kuna mila na desturi zinazowagandamiza, ambao wanaonekana kama ni raia wa daraja la tatu. Inakuwaje sasa? waweze kujengewa hali yao ya kiuchumi. Kwa hiyo masuala hayo yatachambuliwa yatajadiliwa. Na tutakuwa na watu wa mada au makongamano, uh, workshop ndogo ndogo ambazo zitajadili kwa kina hayo masuala. Masuala mengine yatakayojadiliwa kwa kina ni masuala ya haki za mirathi, haki za ardhi na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi Afrika. 
je yana athari gani kwa wajane ambao bado kuna sheria mbalimbali ambazo zinawagandamiza na ambazo zinawapelekea wao kuonekana kama sio watu muhimu wakati ni watu ambao wa maana ni ndio unajua katika bara letu la Afrika wakulima wakubwa ambao wanalisha bara la Afrika ni wanawake na ndani ya hao wanawake kuna wajane ambao wanalisha bara la Afrika kwa hiyo tuta, tutaangalia na kuchambua haki za ardhi kwa hao wajane zinasemaje haki za kumiliki ardhi kwa hao wajane zinasemaje mabadiliko ya tabia nchi yanaathiri yanaathiri vipi wajane wa Afrika na nini kifanyike na hicho kitakachofanyika kifanyike wapi Lengo letu ni kuangalia umoja wa Afrika. Umoja wa Afrika una wanachama ams, nchi ya msina nne. Na hizo nchi ya msina nne zinaangalia kwamba je, katika umoja wao wanafanya nini? Kwa hiyo kama umoja wa Afrika ambao utakuwa ni sehemu kubwa ya huu mkutano, huu umoja wa Afrika ukija na malengo, ukija na maamuzi kwamba tunataka wajane wa Afrika, eh? Wa, wa hakikishiwe kwamba wanapata haki zao za kiuchumi, wanapata haki zao za kumiliki ardhi, wanapata haki zao za kurithi, wale wajane wa Afrika kukiwa na sela na, ma, na matamko yatakayotolewa yatasaidia utekelezaji katika nchi zote za Afrika ambao ni wanachama wa umoja wa Afrika. Hilo ni swala nyeti ambalo tunaliangalia. Na mwisho kabisa swala ambalo tutakalo liangalia ni kuhusu sheria na sela mbalimbali katika bara letu la Afrika. Zinazungumza nini kuhusu wajane? Zinazungumza nini kuhusu haki zao mbalimbali kama wajane? Na tufanye nini sasa katika bara la Afrika? Nchi mbalimbali wawakilishi kama ni mawaziri watakao kuja waweze kusema sasa watafanya nini isiwe business as usual. Maana kuna mambo ya kwenye makaratasi yanayozungumza haki za wajane. Sasa tunataka hayo mambo yanayozungumza haki za wajane yakishajadiliwa na bara la Afrika na wadau wengine watakao toka nchi mbalimbali yaweze kutekelezwa na kutekelezeka na, na maamuzi hayo basi huu mkutano ujao wa wajane uweze kutoa maamuzi ya kina. Na kitu ambacho pia kingine tutakachokifanya ni uzoefu wa wajane wenyewe watazungumza changamoto gani wanazozipata e, tunakuta kwa mfano kama Tanzania tuna sheria nzuri ya ardhi sheria yetu ya Tanzania inaruhusu inaruhusu mwanamke kama alivyo mwanaume kumiliki kutumia ardhi bila ubaguzi wowote lakini ukija kwenye sheria za mirathi sheria ya kimila ya mirathi imembagua kabisa mjane mjane hana haki ya kurithi isipokuwa mgongoni kwa watoto wake na hana haki kabisa mjane na watoto wa kike kurithi ardhi ya ukoo au ya familia hayo yote ni, 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 ni ubaguzi kwa sababu mikataba ya kimataifa ambayo Tanzania sisi tumeridhia inatoa haki sawa kwa wanawake na wanaume na tunataka kabisa katika majadiliano mengine ni namna gani tutashirikisha wanaume male involvement na tunao wanaume ambao ni wana, wanaweza kabisa kuhakikisha kwamba haki za wajane zina zina tendewa haki wako wanaume waliohamasika wanaume ambao wengine ni waume zetu wengine ni kaka zetu wengine ni baba zetu wengine ni wajomba zetu na tunatoa hamasa basi wanaume kwa wanawake wote waweze kushiriki huu mkutano mwa, mwa, mwakani waweze kuja na kutoa michango yao hakikisha kwamba mama mama yako dada yako binti yako hafanyi ukatili kwa sababu huyo mama Mwingine ni mjane, huyo binti mwingine ni mjane, huyo shangazi mwingine ni mjane. Wajane wasitendewe ukatili, wajane wasinyanyaswe. Kwa hiyo mkutano utajilenga katika ngazi utajilenga katika ngazi ya Afrika kuhakikisha kwamba Afrika yetu tunakwenda sawa sawa na ule na ile ajenda ya 2063 Afrika tuitakayo the Africa we want ambayo haitaki ubaguzi kwa mwanamke wala kwa mwanaume karibuni sana
karibuni sana na kwa pamoja tutangaze kuhusu huu mkutano wa kihistoria utakaofanyika Tanzania Zanzibar lakini kwa ajili ya Afrika Afrika yetu sote wajane wetu sote wajane ni mama zetu ni dada zetu ni binti zetu tusiwabague asanteni sana My name is Hope Mwakwesa I come from Nigeria and uh, I'm happy to be here today because um, a group of women in widowhood, a group of widows in Africa, some five years back, began interacting with themselves through technology. And uh, the first summit we had, even though it was a Nigerian thing, was done in Nigeria. And one of the widows, Rose, was there. Ke Kenya, Diana was there. Malawi was there, Zimbabwe were there, and um, with that we began to say to ourselves, how do we make this an African thing so that we can have a, 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 a gathering together where we get our leaders to come and look at the things that has to do with widowhood. And like, um, you know, 20, 2001, UN said that the, the group most suffered sin of omission was the, that of widow. And we said the time has come for us to talk about our story, to take our position and for, to ask for inclusion. Basically, we are having this summit in Zanzibar based on decision. It was a strategic decision. The strategic decision was based on the fact that Zanzibar is a, a tourist place. You know, we wanted to use one stone to kill two birds, things that will attract more people to come to the Zanzibar. That was actually why the, 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 the choice of Zanzibar and the United States of um, United, United Republic of Tanzania. I happen to come from Nigeria and, uh, in, in, you know, I, I, I've been widowed for 30 years, 27 years at the age of 27. And when I met Rose through online, I realized it was the same place I went through in, in Nigeria she went through. We spoke with Diana in Kenya. It was, we spoke with Malawi person. It was, it was so, I mean, it became, the, it became this, the history of Nigeria. And that is the same history with every other countries. Uh, states across um, Africa. And we said, you know, it is time for we, the widows, to ask for inclusion and let the widows speak for themselves. It is, it is a journey that cannot be read in a book. No matter how you read it, you, can, you read it, you cannot understand it. And the, the African space has enough widows that can tell their stories and they should be given the chance to tell their stories. And that's why when, we, when I brought, uh, when, we, when, uh, when we agreed, we have a union. It is known as the Union, the Union of African Widows. I mean, that is, that is going to be a follow-up of what we are going to ask for the AU when we finish the summit. And, you know, with the, with the beauty thing about technology, I, I, I met this young lady in, 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 in New York to, this year, and we started talking about this. She said she sounded interested. I said, women, widowhood in, is in the life cycle of every woman that says, I do. So, you know, it is, a, it is something that we cannot do without telling the women that the time has come for us to all come together, knowing that if, it's, if, it's, if we don't get it in young age, you get it in old age. So one person must die before the other. And Rose magnanimously <laughs> introduced um, Martina, her chair, and Dr. Monica. And that's, you know, we began for the past six months. We, has been, we have been on, online doing meetings and so on. And we began, we came here to meet and do the summit. So today I present this press relief on the press release on the behalf of every widows of Africa, widows of Africa, in collaboration with the women who is saying with us, the African Union has to look at this thing to prevent it for the people that are already there, the people that will be there, and for our children to come. I went through what my grandmother went through. I don't want my granddaughters to go through what I went through. And I don't want them to deny themselves the opportunity of love because of some of these cultural things. You know, by the time they get to Ibonize, Ibonize is Nigerian language, by the time they get westernized, they now begin to join the story to tell the backstory of Africa. The Africa must tell their story. And the, one of the things we agree is that, yes, there are issues about widowhood in Africa. So many of these issues are being redefined. So many of these issues are, there's upgrade. Some are changing but they are not telling the story. So the beauty thing about telling the story ourselves is to tell it extensively. The one that is bad, the one that is progressing, and the one has, that has progressed. So uh, on behalf of my, our steering committee, which has been behind the scene for the past six months, I present this press release 
The organizing committee of the African Widows Summit is delighted to officially announce the highly anticipated event in the 2024 that will take place in the enchanting and historic island of Zanzibar, Tanzania. It is scheduled from June 20 to 22, 2024, under the theme, Women in Widowhood, Reforming the African Space. Zanzibar is known for its rich cultural heritage and breathtaking landscape, has been chosen as the host country of TALS 2024. The choice of Zanzibar as the summit location is not only a test a testament to its beauty, but also the warm host hospitality of the Tanzanian people, particularly the Zan Zan Zanzibarians, to make the summit a resounding success. His Excellency, Dr. Hussein Ali Munuyi, <laughs> forgive me if I must call him it well. Mouini. His Excellency, sir, forgive me. I did all the practice and I still fail. The, the esteemed president of Zanzibar has graciously endorsed and accepted the hosting of TAS 2024. This endorsement underscores the commitment of the Zanzibaria government to the cause of widows empowerment and it reflects a shared dedication of addressing these unique challenges faced by women in widowhood in the African context. The significance of TAS 2024 extends beyond its geographical location. The summit serves as a crucial platform for policymakers, advocates, and stakeholders of, to engage in a meaningful dialogue and collaborative efforts and men aimed at bringing about positive change for widows on a continental level. The summit, a pioneering initiative, that addresses the multifaceted challenges faced by women in widowhood across the continent aims to address the crucial issue of widowhood across African continent and to provide political leadership, guidance and recommendation on widow's agenda in the African Union state. With Zanzibar as the host country, TAS 2024 promises to be a landmark event, bringing together thought widows taught widows, women, and men advocates from across the African continent, extreme country leaders and representatives, officials from UN Women and UN Women Africa, women and gender department ministers, first ladies of nations serving and retired, visionary founders and CEOs of NGOs dedicated to welfare of widows, women, and children, representatives from international and local bodies, legislators, extreme members of the media, like you, and the respected figures from the judiciary sector. The summit will feature programs including keynote addresses, panel discussions, workshops, side events, movie premiere, we are trying to act a movie, all of us, and the cultural events, all aimed at fostering collaboration and innovation in the pursuit of tang tangible solution to issues of widowhood in Africa so that we will no longer be used, for example, by everybody in the world for the con continent that have the most um, widowhood, uh, 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 bad widowhood practices. TOS 2024 will serve as a platform for sharing best practices, engaging in meaningful conversation and driving actionable outcomes that positively impact the, rise, the lives of widows across the continent. We invite stakeholders, including governmental bodies, international and national organizations, legal luminaries, leaders, private sectors, media organizations, and the public to join us for this transmit, transformative event. Together, we can contribute to reshaping the narrative surrounding widowhood in Africa and promote a more inclusive and equitable society. What about TONS? Like we said, TONS, the African, the African Widow Summit is an initiative of a group of widows, widows advocates, known, that know themselves as the Union of African Widows. This, tour is a, this is the premier three-day conference scheduled to take place in, Af in Zanzibar, like we I said earlier, from June 20th to 20, 22nd, 2024, under the team, Women in Widowhood reforming the African space. This three-day world-class conference is aimed at addressing the critical, critical issues women in widowhood across African country uh, uh, that, they, they, that, that they encounter 
and the essence is to provide political leadership, guidance and recommendation and to make sure and to ask and to seek and to demand that widows are inclu included in discussion of issues. Okay. Widows are women, yes, that's what people say. But women, are, when, once, you, you, once you become widow, you become a different kind of women. So it is not enough to have wi women and youth, women and girls, and without um, uh, widows. And I'm one of the persons some years ago, 2018, I started, I wrote to UN Women, and I said to them, you are talking of sin of omission. The, f the biggest discrimination the widows is having is the omission of widows in International Day for Elimination of Violence against Women and Girls. Because if you know it in the world, we have International Day for the Girl Child, International Women's Day, International Widows Day. So how can it be that on the day that is set aside to talk about this issue, I mean, the abuse, the violence that, we, that this gender take, you omit one set of women and call it. I, I, that's part of the things that we want to do at the end of the summit. At the end of the summit, by the time the, we, the widows, bring the stories, the experiences, what we have had through, somebody like her, the legal people, we put it in terms. You know, every profession, I'm a teacher by profession, every profession has its terms. I can tell the story as a teacher that knows how to teach children, but the lawyers should take it, and the women, the, 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 there are various legal um, bodies that is about women and legal and everything, should take it and take what these widows, the Union of African Widows, are bringing together, place it, we all know the issue that has to do with Africa, when they take it a place, they will give it their legal terms and present it. Let it be a guiding action that will be leading the African, African, African states. That's basically what we are asking for. So, you know, without reading, going through more into what, which is what we have said about us, and we are saying to you, please, what are the objectives? What do we intend to achieve? One of the things we achieve at the objective of the summit is to provide political leadership and recommendation. You know, bring the widows together, bring the women together, bring the legal bodies together, bring the media like you together. We look at the African space and we now say, this is how we can do it. The another one is inclusion. Inclusion, inclusion. It is a big word that will never go out of my mouth until I die. I have been a widow for 30 years. It is very unfair for women to go and sit down on a table and discuss for issues that has to do with widows. Widows should be included. We, uh, one of the things I've written in my country, there should be a widows department in the women agenda. Widows, women, girls. Because this is the, this is, this, this, this is the journey of the gender. From girl, you become a woman. From woman, you get married. You spend, the, you spend your time in that space. Once you get widowed, you, you become a different kind of woman. There's, there, there, there's an addition that has to be included. That is inclusion. Integrated solution. The truth is this. I'm, I'm an African, and, I, and the, I always say if there's a second word, I will be an African. There are good things that is still happening in our system of the widowhood, which needs to be included so it's, when we tell this story ourselves, by the time we finish meeting, countries come, we will see the countries that are doing it well. We will see what they are, the best practices, and we begin to include it and integrate, integrate, integrate it together so that the African bodies, the African states would go home and look at it. It's no longer you're having an example from the European body. So you're having an example from your sister country. That's what we are talking about, integrated solution, promotion of best practices. That by the time we see the best practices, we integrate it into the system and begin to promote it in our own culture, separately, as a, as a state. Then, stakeholders, cooperation, and coordination. Basically, this is a, a, a rundown summary of what the summit is all about. The summit is, all, is about bringing the bodies that matters in African space across the 54 African countries and saying to them, what can we do to shape in? to reshape the issue of widows in widowhood. It is not enough for us all to sit down and remain and make these widows, make our continent provide a, a, a good example for the worst practices, what are our best practices. So we are calling on the media, we are calling on the bodies, we are calling on the country heads, the country leaders, 
the decision makers, the stakeholders to please say, join us. We, the widows of Africa, in the body of the Union of African Widows, are saying that the African we want agenda must have widows inclusion. Thank you.